Trump was sent by God to preserve Abraham Lincoln's promise. We want Trump to go to the big house and not to the White House in 2024. And if you're asking about Biden, listen, he doesn't care about black people. He doesn't care about anybody. Biden all the way. Trump got to go. I love Trump. Yeah. They're trying to overthrow democracy and take rights away from like women like me. Uh, Trump, no Trump. Do you care that he's a felon? I don't give a fuck. He's a convicted felon. He needs to get out of Philly town and go back to Florida. He's not like Sleepy Joe. They'll just say like, let's go Brandon. Like, what does that even mean? Now listen, ain't no motherfucker hating on this motherfucker. Listen, we don't got time for that hating ass shit. All you Trump supporters want to vote for Trump, but guess what? We're here for some Biden and Harris supporters. For all you Trump supporters and everybody else, y'all go straight to hell. Burn in hell, cause that, that what the Dre said so. If you smell what the Dre is cooking. Wait, where are you from, man? I'm from Philadelphia, born and raised. The guy is utterly corrupt. He's not that bright. And now he's, you know, with LGBT, he'll be whatever he has to be. What are you guys here supporting? Biden, unfortunately. It's anti-Trump. I personally am not a huge Biden fan, but, you know, I'm here to protest Trump. And uh, I think there's a lot of probably neo-Nazis in there who really want to kill me and my friends. I'm only voting for Trump because I think he's going to legalize sex work, you know? I mean, like, prostitutes, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all like, I just want to get a prostitute. You know, it's legal in Amsterdam. Like, he, I think he's going to legalize it, you know, then get, like, his charges dismissed. So I think that's why I'm personally voting for him. I'm not like everyone else, you know. Former President Donald Trump recently rallied at the Leah Chorus Center on Temple University's campus where I attend. This marks one of the only times in history that a Republican GOP candidate rallied in North Philadelphia. Donald Trump rallying in Philadelphia caused immense anger, backlash, and distrust amongst the Temple University students and residents of Philadelphia, leading to a heated rival protest across the street from the Leah Chorus Center, which even shut down Broad Street for a second. While this rivalry was occurring, a few blocks east sits Kensington and Allegheny. The streets hosting the epicenter and epitome of what is going wrong with our country, which happens to be a major topic of debate in both parties, further fueling the chaos that ensued between protesters and ralliers. The amount of tension, hatred, and violence between the protesters and ralliers emanated through the entire city that day. So I decided to go out and get on the ground interviews from the ralliers and the protesters' point of view. Here's how it went. Behind me is a sea of a thousand or so people waiting to see Donald Trump. We're going to go talk to some people. A woman from the protesting side came over to the Trump rally side to speak, so I decided to interview her. How long have you been out here for? Uh, well, I was actually out here at midnight, uh, just checked the crowd. There was like six people here. And I heard there are campers here. If you follow the Trump rallies, there's a group of people that go to all of them. So one guy, his name is Edward Young. What was your name? Just so if I can look at Edward X Young. It wasn't until right now as I was editing this video that I realized I was talking to one of the biggest Trump supporters in the entire world. This guy became famous for having almost zero absences to any Trump event in history, as well as his famous quote that Trump came from God to preserve Abraham Lincoln's promise. The woman I was interviewing that was protesting even told me that he was at the January 6th riots. I knew he looked familiar, so I looked him up and I realized that Andrew Callahan had actually interviewed him in his HBO special, This Place Rules, which is a document of the January 6th riots. Personal attack. So, shut up, jerk off. See, all you have are personal attacks. It is legal to beat up and maybe even kill people who wear MAGA hats. The cops will not do anything to protect you. And now I can say, I sort of kind of know what it must have been like to be a Jew in Germany on January 30th of 1933. And he also happens to be an erotic horror film actor. At the same exact time, I was also interviewing possibly the biggest Donald Trump hater in the entire world. Make a fuck Donald Trump. Who goes by Anarchy Princess. And somehow I managed to capture these two complete arch enemies in the same exact video without even realizing. Edward Young, he was actually at the Capitol on January 6th, but he has gone to more Trump rallies than anyone else. That's what he brags about. So he was first in line. My friend uh, Mike and I were first here. We came here last night. We were the first ones here. He has seen me and spoken to me before. This is my 78th rally. 78th. All right, what, what do you guys say? No, who are you with? Oh, I'm, into, I'm getting both sides. But who are you with? Send his ass over there with Trump. I'm not. Who are you with? I'm 
I am neutral. I don't have a media company. I'm independent. All right, get the fuck out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah! It's a Trump doll? Oh, what? Where do you get it from? So this man made it, and he passed away, so we bought the warehouse full of them. Where's that warehouse located? Pocados. Those eyeballs are crazy. He says 27 different sayings, all Trump sayings. What do you think about this thing? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Trump is not welcome in Philly. We will not be bullied, just like he liked to bully our representatives. And under Trump administration, you will lose your um, your voting rights, human rights, and, and uh, uh, voting rights, human rights, and human rights. Biden is under the Constitution, we have a president. Who are you streaming to? I am streaming to TikTok, my brother. Yo, I am inner city conservative all over TikTok. Give me a follow, gang. What does Trump stand for in, uh, in Philadelphia, in inner city Philadelphia? Uh, Trump stands for America, brother, and also the planet of self-reliance. At least that's the message I get from the good brother Trump. A lot of inner city folks are resonating with the message of self-reliance. That's why Trump's numbers uh, are steadily on the incline with the minority people. Biden has contributed a lot to stoke fear-mongering and racism in the country. You got anything to say? Hell yeah, riding with Biden. Why is that? Biden respects the law. In what way? In every way, because Biden passed the bill that gave us the biggest climate change effort we've had yet, and it's 104 freaking degrees today. You think climate change is getting worse? <laughs> Since I was born, I've noticed it. Do you go to Temple? I do, yeah. Do you feel betrayed that uh, Trump is speaking here on campus? I do. I know that Temple rents out the hall to kind of whoever. It's a third party thing. I understand that. But he's not welcome here, and he should know that. Do you fear any backlash because Temple is such a uh, blue school? Nah, it's like I stand for what I stand, you know. Uh, so, what are you out here doing in the line? Uh, we're registering Pennsylvania voters, okay. right, to make sure that they all turn out to vote. Right, because everyone's vote matters. You're a Republican, is in this line? I'm, I'm Republican from New York City. New York City, like Manhattan? Uh, uh, Queens. Where do you get the cape from? Uh, so we have several different distributors that we work with. I do vending all over the country for his rally. What rallies have you been to besides this one? I've been to everyone this year that he's had. They've created a barricade on North Broad Street. Excuse me. Uh, Democratic Party would have you believe that we love handouts and all that nonsense. We're about self-reliance and that's what Trump's about. That's why he's doing so well with the African-American vote and other people's of color, people of color. Uh, there are a lot of people over there I talk to are from North Philly and they actually support Trump as well. What do you have to say about them? Well, I, what I have to say on them is shame on them because they don't get it. They don't understand that democracy is under attack. And if they put Mr. Trump back in that White House based on their vote, they're going to reap the consequence of that. I'm a local. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about Philadelphia? It's a beautiful, historic city. It has so much potential. It's just so poorly run. It's tragic. It's tragic. Where, where do you think the downfall of Philadelphia started happening? Come on, look at Kensington. 10 years, 15 years ago, Kensington wasn't that bad. And I mean, they're just letting people die on the streets. You think there's a way to fix that? The adults taken over and we should house them. We certainly don't give them drugs. I think Trump should go to prison and live there for the rest of his life. What do you think, uh, now he's a felon? I think I knew it all along. I think I call him Trumpskovich normally. Where, what part of the city do you live in? North Philly. I try not to hate anybody, but if I come close to hating anyone, it's him. Who cut your hair? Gents Barbershop. Who's? Gents. Gents, that, can we get it? How long did that take? Uh, 45 minutes. All right, so what brings you out here today? The, the Trump rally. The state that this country is now, we're not safe. Technically speaking, we don't have a country right now in the United States, as much as I hate to say that. I think people that really, people that really, I think people that really vote for him, <laughs> that really vote for him, my man's right there, he's in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I love Trump, yeah, I love Trump. I listen, ain't no motherfucker hating on this motherfucker. Listen, we don't got time for that hating ass shit. All we got time for is to make this shit big. But a lot of motherfuckers do that hating shit and that jealous and the envious shit. Listen, felons, criminals, whatever. Listen, we here and we gonna live here. So stop fucking being jealous and envious all y'all motherfucking life. 
Be real, motherfucker. I wanted to say that I'm not really here to support Biden. I'm more so just very afraid of what's happening to my friends. Quite a few of my friends have been killed. It's backlash on either side. Like, it has to be an opportunity for everybody. You know, like, certain people get to come for, you know, that people like, and then other people like this party. So we gotta give everybody a chance to be involved with the people that they like and they support. So I'm from D.C. and they interrupted the Capitol on January 6th and it really, like, they're trying to overthrow democracy and just, like, change laws and take rights away from, like, women like me. That's why I come out to these Don't things. Trump, uh, no Trump! No uh, Trump! Because the media lies. Ser seriously, uh, you got you got to support President Trump. Because President Trump was sent by God to preserve Abraham Lincoln's promise that a government of the people, by the people, and for the people will not perish from the face of this earth. Around this time, a man with a mullet and a Trump shirt came over to the protester side. I quickly realized I actually recognized them from YouTube. Chaos ensued quickly. We got party in the back, baby! Party in the back! Party in the back! How are you guys talking shit? Hell, Oh my god, it's all hate! Give me the keys! Give me the keys! Hey, Swanee! Dude, I mean, I just walked the sidewalk and I got water thrown on me. I'm getting grabbed. People are just going. Where are you guys coming from? Florida. We're not bad people. We're not bad people. What do y'all have to say? Uh, I mean, I'm a kid at being. He keep on dropping them PP loans. I might not come, voting for shit. Might come up on it. No. Fuck that. Wait, wait. Hey. I'm saying Trump because I need some more money for them stimulus check. You got me fucked up. I don't give a fuck about no president of the United States. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I just want some money. He think giving us checks going to do something for us, bro. Niggas still got more of a family to feed. Like, that check ain't doing shit for niggas. Listen, listen, they, both, they both shitty. They both shitty. Uh, I usually get very familiar with the people and, and blast them on their personal, like they're a rapist or a pedophile or something. Because a lot of them are. And, and and the Trump show is the greatest the greatest show on earth. You got to go to a Trump rally. Donald Trump is our first rock star superhero president. You know, he's a real life Tony Stark. He's President Iron Man. Iron Man. They'll just say like, "Let's go, Brandon." Like, what does that even mean? Like, <laughs> uh, is your first Trump rally? No, I went to Wildwood. That was the biggest Trump rally. He spoke for three hours straight. Took like three hours, non-stop, no teleprompters, because he doesn't need them. He's not like Sleepy Joe, all right, because Sleepy Joe can't stand at all. He doesn't know where he's at half the time, all right? He doesn't know what's going on with this world anymore. Uh, yeah, what's your name? My name is Bree, but um, I go by Anarchy Princess. I have a live stream, and I'm also on Twitter, so. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Tell me one thing Trump did that was unconstitutional. The guy was a stickler. He's like, all oh, fucking Republicans. We play by the rules. And when you say they killed your friends, how did they do that? Uh, a lot of them committed suicide after being bullied for quite a few years. Few of them have been attacked. Okay, and is that the result directly of Trump? I'd imagine so, yes. Do you, are you able to sell these shirts pretty well? Like, how many sales have you got? Um, I got a couple. Do you support Trump a guy here? Is it just a hustle side? I, I actually support Trump. I was in the Army. I was in the Army for 10 years. And Biden made me feel like that shit was worthless. And I don't like feeling like that. Not to mention, we got a president right now that can barely take care of himself. How are you supposed to take care of a country of a, a couple million people? Do you care that he's a felon? I don't give a fuck. Dude. I don't give a fuck, bro. Oh, man, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Have a good day, man. What did we say? We said fuck Trump. Who are your who are your fans here? I suppose my fans are in the comments section. The comments section is always lit. I ran into a couple followers, which is like the mama made it moment. <laughs> yeah, I had this one lady said, yo, I follow you and you do a good job. What y'all doing out here? Who's your outfit? Just independent stuff. Roughing it like myself. I love it, man. Yeah. We are in the age of independent journalism because we can do exactly what the big guys are doing. We can edit stuff and we have brains or we can put stuff out there for consumption. He switched sides as soon as it started to get heated. Yeah, I seen someone pull a gun out of their pocket, so I had to yeah. switch sides and fuck that shit. I mean, I don't blame you. You know what? Yo, fuck Donald Trump, yeah. you heard? Yeah, yo, yo, you know what the fuck going on, nigga? Be wicked, nigga. Hey, oh, so. Hats. What are you selling here? Hats. Hats? Only hats? Hats, mugs, $5. What, what about all those poor people living in uh, Kensington? The, the regular folk. They're not out in my suburban town, and I'm not getting all the illegal immigrants at my suburban town. Are you afraid if uh, they push them out of Kensington that they'll go up towards wherever you live? I want them to be cared for because, you know, especially if they're Americans, don't bring illegal immigrants in and then put them 
in a school in North Philly here where then, you know, first of all, the school was shitty to begin with, and then now it doesn't even speak English. What's your nationality or your ethnicity or your race? I'm white. But what kind of white? Irish. Being that the Irish had a hand to play in rounding up slaves, so because your people enslaved us perpetually, right? There's a karmic debt that has to be paid. So your people collectively have to have nuclear missiles dropped on them in order to purify this place. That's how the karmic debt gets paid. Boom! And, and those of you who survive have to serve us in slavery the same way that our forefathers had to serve you guys. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Right. And all that prey upon thee will I give for prey. How long have you been supporting Trump? Since 2016. Yeah, since first time. How old are you guys? I'm 19. 17. And he's an evil father, used his poor, uh, you know, addicted son as his cutout man to take bribes. How confident are you on uh, Trump winning this election? I truly believe that the last one was stolen. I knew it at 3 o'clock in the morning when uh, there's a pipe break in Atlanta and down in Philly. They consolidated all the counting locations into the Civic Center. With the presidential election coming up very soon, this chaotic dynamic that you just witnessed in this video will probably spiral out of control until then, if not after. The animosity between the protesters and rallyers was very eerie to watch as they didn't even know each other personally. Anyway, if you want to support independent journalism and continue to see real, unfiltered news on the ground, feel free to subscribe to this channel and share this to anyone that you think would be interested. Like, if you know someone that goes to Temple, share it to them. Or if they live in Philadelphia, share it to them. Or if they live on the world, in the world, share it to them. I think it, I think it has to do with the world. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with this message from a man who is selling water to both sides, no matter what their political affiliation was during this super hot day. Black farmer. I'm one of the black farmers of the Black Farmers Co-op, you know, from Rasta Garden. I'm out here hydrating the people. Hydration is the key today. Yes. Ice cold waters and Gatorades. Ice cold. Ice cold. And don't forget the black farmers. We're out here. Amen.